In our daily life we come across various kinds of motions for example rectilinear motion and projectile motion dot but both of these are non repetitive we are also familiar with uniform circular motion and planetary motion in the solar system here the motion is repeated after a certain interval of time that is it is periodic on the other hand the pendulum of a wall clock executes to and fro motion about its mean position dot is periodic and oscillatory motion let us consider a bob of mass m tied with a string of length l dot let us take the bob to extreme right position by a force f at p the force is acting a weight acting vertically downwards mg tension in the string t resolving it into micron two components mg cos theta that opposes tension t restoring force mg sin theta that tends to bring bob to its mean position here we can note that when mg sin theta increases displacement decreases f directly proportional to x that is f equals kx the displacement can be represented by a mathematical function of time that is ft thus the function ft is periodic with period t if ft equals ft plus t let a periodic function is represented by ft equals a sin theta and gt equals b cos theta a linear combination of these two sin and cosin functions also given by ft equals a sin theta plus b cos theta let a equals a cos phi and b equals a sin phi therefore ft equals a cos phi sin theta plus a sin phi cos theta ft equals a sin theta dot cos phi plus cos theta sin phi ft equals a sin theta plus phi where omega equals theta t hence theta equals omega t equals 2 pi t t t equals time period hence ft equals a sin 2 pi t t plus phi is also a periodic function here ft equals a sin theta plus b cos theta is called a fourier equation now squaring and adding a equals a cos phi and b equals a sin phi we get a squared plus b squared equals a squared cos squared phi plus sin squared phi equals a squared employs that a equals square root a squared plus b squared now again dividing we get sin phi upon cos phi equals b upon a hence tan phi equals b upon a phi equals tan inverse b upon a Suppose an insect climbs up a ramp and falls down and repeats the process the graph drawn will be looking like this When we play a game of a bouncing ball between palm and ground graph will look like graph for h equals ut plus 1/2 gt squared n h equals ut minus 1/2 gt squared are upward parabola and down parabola oscillatory motion done by a bob tied with a string can be graphically shown a circular motion with shm dot arc 1 quadrant 1 arc 2 quadrant 2 similarly arc 3 quadrant 3 arc 4 quadrant 4 now a circular motion is also shm dot can be easily understood graphically like this In the figure upper semicircle is half cycle dot and the lower circle is next half cycle is shown in the figure Let p is a point x equals r cos omega t plus phi and y equals r sin omega t plus phi differentiating y equals r sin omega t plus phi with respect to t we get d upon dt of y equals r cos omega t plus phi omega that is v equals r cos omega t plus phi omega employs that v equals r omega square root 1 sin squared omega t plus phi 
Hence, V equals R omega square root, 1 Y squared, R squared. V equals R omega square root, R squared minus Y squared, R squared. And finally, V equals omega square root, R squared minus Y squared. Differentiating again, V equals R cos omega t plus phi omega d dt of V equals R sine omega t plus phi omega squared. Therefore, a equals r sine omega t plus phi omega squared and a equals r y upon r omega squared finally a equals omega squared y that is a is directly proportional to minus displacement employs that motion is shm using newton's second law of motion and the expression for acceleration of a particle undergoing shm R equals minus omega squared x. Therefore, F equals m a equals minus m omega squared x. I e, F equals minus k x where k equals minus m omega squared as a constant. Means, if restoring force F increases distance x decreases. As we know, k equals omega squared m. Omega equals square root k upon m. But, omega equals t upon 2 pi. Therefore, t upon 2 pi equals square root k upon m, hence, t equals 2 pi square root k upon m. Let a force f is applied on a block of mass m with a spring constant k, tied with the wall dot the spring is elongated by a distance x and at the same time other spring is suppressed dot as is clear restoring force f and f are in the same direction. Hence, f equals minus kx. f equals minus kx. f plus f equals minus 2kx. Employs that. f equals minus 2kx. Hence the motion is shm. Time period t of which is given by. t equals 2 pi square root m upon 2k. When the bob is at extreme right position at p. K is 0 and P is maximum dot and is stored as work done in brining bob from P to mean portion A. W equals 1 upon 2 kx squared. Where x equals r cos oi plus phi. Hence, W equals 1 half k r squared cos squared omega t plus phi equation 1. Now as we know, x equals r cos omega t plus phi. Differentiating with respect to t dx upon dt equals minus r sine omega t plus phi omega employs that v equals minus r sine omega t plus phi omega hence kinetic energy equals half a meter v squared k equals 1 upon 2 meters omega squared r squared sine squared omega t plus phi now omega equals k upon m hence m omega squared equals k squared. k equals 1 upon 2. k squared r squared sine squared omega t plus phi equation 2. Total energy equals p plus k. 1 open 2 k squared r squared cos squared omega t plus phi plus sine squared omega t plus phi equals 1 upon 2 k squared r squared. The total mechanical energy of a harmonic oscillator is thus independent of time under any conservative force.